so now this video let us learn about dynamics the subject let us start the subject dynamics dynamics under which let us learn about the definition of dynamics then uh, momentum definition of momentum and energy law of conservation of energy and kinetic energy potential energy let us learn about and also afterwards let us start newton's laws of motion now what is dynamics let us learn the definition of dynamics 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 is a branch of physics which deals with study of motion of the objects under motion by applying any external force the study of dynamics is a branch of physics dynamics is a branch of physics branch of physics physics which deals with study of motion of the objects under motion by applying some force study of motion of the objects under motion by applying some force which the physics which deals with deals with study of motion of the objects under motion motion of the objects objects under motion by applying some external force by applying some external force applying some external force external force so kinematics is a branch of physics it's a part of physics which deals with study of motion of the objects under motion by applying some external force if any object is under motion by applying some external force the study of the motion of the object is known as kinematics if any object is under motion by applying some external force the study of the motion of the object will come under that is dynamics so dynamics is a branch of physics which deals with study of motion of the objects under motion but with but by applying some external force example for then kinematics kinematics is a branch of physics which deals with study of motion of the objects under motion without applying any external force subject dealing with motion of the objects without applying any external force is kinematics but by applying some external force is known as dynamics so any object under motion by applying some external force will come under dynamics example pushing cart number 1 pushing cart pushing cart by pushing means we are applying the force pushing is applying force and also pulling cart pulling cart pushing cart or pulling cart pulling cart running man a running bag boy running man he runs with muscular force without muscular force he can't run and moving vehicle moving vehicle any vehicle and moving vehicle how does it move by applying some external force mechanical force will be applied on the vehicle the vehicle will have engine any two wheeler three wheeler or four wheeler two wheeler like bike three wheeler like auto four wheeler car bus anything it will be having an engine that engine will apply some force so it is under motion by applying some external force they are under motion the subject which dealing with such properties is known as dynamics dynamics is a branch of physics which deals with study of motion of the objects under motion by applying some external force and these are the example for dynamics pushing cart pulling cart then running man then moving vehicle now let us learn momentum momentum what is momentum the definition of momentum
momentum. What is momentum? When an object is under motion, then when an object is under motion is under motion then the product of mass and velocity the product of product of mass and velocity velocity is known as momentum is known as momentum known as momentum when an object is under motion then the product of mass sign velocity will give us the momentum product of mass sign velocity is known as momentum means for getting the momentum we should multiply the mass by its velocity the product will give us the momentum and momentum is represented by p momentum p is equal to p represented by p. is equal to mass m into velocity v mass m into velocity v velocity v that is momentum p is equal to m into v then what are the units for momentum units cgs units and mks units mks units cgs units for momentum is cgs units of mass into cgs units of velocity we know that the mass is measured in cgs system grams centimeter gram second these are nothing but length mass time so length is measured in centimeters mass in grams time in seconds therefore gram is the mass gram and velocity we learned in last class velocity in cgs system can measure centimeter per second uh, that is gram into centimeter per second so into we no need to write into here we write it as hyphen actually it is not minus hyphen meaning is in case of units the meaning is hyphen means into gram into centimeter per second gram centimeter per second a gram hyphen centimeter per second we write it as now mks units mks units of momentum is equal to mks units of mass into mks units of velocity in mk system mass can measured in kilograms kg into velocity is measured in meter per second kg meter per second kg into meter per second nothing but kg meter per second we write it as hyphen now this is about momentum now <clears throat> let us run about the energy this energy energy what is an energy the capacity to do work is known as energy energy is the the capacity to do work to do work work is known as energy known as energy energy whatever the capacity to for doing work is known as energy so for doing work that means for doing work energy can be used so that's why energy is utilized for doing work so therefore work and energy will be having same units work and energy will be having same units why because energy is converted into work and work can be converted into energy energy is converted into work and work can be converted into energy for example we are doing a work suppose we are studying we are reading and we are learning something and that is nothing but work it is converted into energy how can be it is converted into energy it can be utilized for our future that is nothing but we are obtaining the energy we are obtaining the energy doing by doing work we can get the energy and that energy can be spent for work suppose for 
taking food. We should take the food for doing work. Without food, we can't get the energy so that we can't do the, do the work. Therefore, here, whatever, by taking the food, we get the energy. That is utilized for work. work that is, energy is converted into work. Example, energy is converted to work. Whatever we take the food, by that food, we will get the energy. That energy will be spent on work. Writing, reading, studying, teaching, or even agriculture, labor working, agriculture work, any labor work, building construction labor, they can do the work. By taking the food, they get the energy. That energy can be converted to work. Like this, energy is converted into work. Also, work can be converted into energy. By doing the work, if you work hard, uh, we will be energized. More we energized. Our personality can be developed. Our personality is developed by doing the work. Our personality is developed. So, therefore, our personality can be utilized for development of the society. That's all. So, therefore, we are, by doing the work, we are energized. Our society can be energized, our nation or the world can be energized. Therefore, like that, work is converted into energy. Energy is converted into work or work is converted into energy. Therefore, work and energy will have same units. Work and energy will have same units. Will have the same units. the same units as following same units as following that is units for work is nothing but units for energy as following now what are the units cgs units and mks units cgs units and mks units cgs units and mks units and cgs system the work can be work or energy can be measured in erg. Erg. Also, it can be measured in calorie. CGS units. Work or energy. CGS units of work is erg. CGS units of work is calorie otherwise. A CGS unit of uh, energy is erg. CGS unit of energy is calorie. Work and energy will be having same units. And MKS unit, it can be measured in Joule. Joule. Now, 1 Joule is equal to 1 Joule is equal to 10 to the power of 7 Erg. It was given in group 2 question. How many Ergs? 1 Joule is 10 to the power of 7. 10 to the power of 7 is nothing but 1 crore. 1 crore Ergs. And also, 1 calorie is equal to 4.182 joules. 4.182 joules. One calorie is called 4.182 joules. This is also known as mechanical equivalent of feet. Mechanical. What is that? One calorie or 4.182 is known as the mechanical equivalent of work. Mechanical equivalent of energy. Mechanical equivalent of work, not energy. Mechanical, mechanical equivalent of work. Why? Because we take by this much of food. If we take one calorie food or four point joules of food, we'll get. So, we take suppose 1 gram of rice, any carbohydrate, this much of work we can do. Means 1 gram of rice, if we take it as food, we can do 1 calorie of work. Therefore, our 4.2 joules of work, approximately 4.182 joules is also known as, that is 4.2 joules approximately. 4.2 joules. So, this is 4.182 this tenth decimal is more than 5 and it is should be it should be rounded off to 2. So, it is more than 5. This 
tenth this is called tenth decimal hundredth decimal hundredth decimal is more than five if it is more than five for tenth decimal one is added to tenth decimal 4.2 joules we call it as therefore one calorie is equal to 4.2 joules this one calorie or 4.2 joules is also known as the mechanical equivalent of heat mechanical equivalent of heat or mechanical equivalent of work or mechanical equivalent of heat equivalent of energy mechanical equivalent of heat then why do we call it as mechanical equivalent of heat in short form we call it as meh meh why do we call it as mechanical equivalent of heat why is it called the mechanical equivalent of heat why because by taking one gram of rice or usual carbohydrate we will get that much of energy what that we call it as calorific value calorific value so that is what is calorific value calorific value of carbohydrates will be this much usual carbohydrate calorific value what is calorific value calorific value is nothing but calorific value is nothing but the quantity of heat liberated by burning one unit of the quantity of heat quantity of heat liberated liberated by burning burning one unit mass of one unit mass of mass of any material mass of carbohydrate or fuel any fuel it is applicable for all the fuels even kerosene petrol diesel coal also by burning will get the energy and it can be found by using calorimeter so it can be calorific value can be determined by using calorific value value can be determined determined by using calorimeter calorimeter by using calorimeter calorific value can be determined by using calorimeter a device called a vessel like in that we should burn the material like rice we can burn by burning the rice heat can be liberated in that whatever the heat is liberated that is called the calorific value of that rice calorific value of that rice now that is about calorific value so we should burn in the calorimeter that is